Hello everybody, my name is Ido Katri. I'm very happy uh, to be uh, talking to you. I've recently received my doctorate in law from the University of, of Toronto in Canada, and I'm studying my position at the School of, of Social Work in Tel Aviv University uh, in Israel, Palestine. I'm also a founding member of the Gila Project for Trans Empowerment, which is a, a local action group of trans and non-binary people working to better, together to benefit uh, the living conditions of our communities. My research, uh, my research is titled uh, Troubling Gender Self-Determination. Um, and so I'm very happy to be speaking to you on behalf of the uh, Independent Chair in Trans Studies at the University of Buenos Aires, because this is a legal movement that started in Argentina and is spreading across the globe. And I'm, you know, I'm looking at this rise of this idea or legal category of gender identity as the separate, the independent category for the recognition um, of trans and non-binary people. But I'm also asking, you know, when we think of gender identity as something that's, you know, innate and private, um, aren't we also missing or creating this legal structure that is unable to account for systemic harm, for the ways in which gender is not only our subjective experience of ourselves, but also this system that maldistributes resources and life chances, duties um, and opportunities. What I'm trying to do is to think how can we take into account the ways, you know, gender works as this power that's subject, subjecting um, trans and non-binary um, communities while making strategic um, claims toward the state or the law. And for example, during this COVID crisis in the Gila project, you know, here in Tel Aviv, we found out that, you know, while the government was willing to give money for small businesses that lost um, lost their business do, do, during COVID or to people who got unemployed, a lot of people from our communities and especially uh, women of colors that are sex workers couldn't get any access to this benefit because their work is not recognized as legal. And what we did is that we gathered our resources together and created this fund um, that was aimed at basically paying people's rent because people were facing eviction. And so in the, in the, the last couple of months, we, were, we managed to to spread these little amounts of money to our communities in order to help them um, pay rent. And that's a way of thinking, you know, let's not only think about what we're getting or not getting and how are we structured uh, in the eyes of the law, of the state of normative society, but rather to think how are we going to use our, you know, how are we going to collectivize our resources to think about the actual living experiences of being trans and non-binary. Um, so that's it. Thank you all um, and happy holidays. Como vuelve en el día la flor.